The push cross. It's probably one of the most versatile and simplistic moves one can learn to dominate the game. Amazing players like Derrick Rose and Dwayne Wade lived off this move throughout their career. And this is how you do it. It's easier than you think. Personally, you don't have to be crazy fast for this move. You just need to know when to shift your gear from slow to fast. A great example would be Nikola Jokic going from really slow to slow. But seriously, you don't have to be fast to do this move. You just need to know when to change your pace from slow to fast. The setup. When setting up this move, you could do it in numerous ways. The most effective way to do this move is either splitting the screen in the pick and roll, when the big switches or a slower defender is guarding you, rejecting the screen, and when the defender relaxes. But you could do this move in any situation, this is just what worked for me. When doing this move, you want to make sure your eyes and body are looking and leaning towards the opposite direction of where you're going to cross. For example, if you're going to the left, then your eyes and body should be facing towards the right and looking in that general direction. When you notice your defender relaxing, that's when you should cross. When you initially cross, it's going to be from right to left. A great example of this is a dance move called the whip. I know it's sort of cringe, it's 2024, but that's how the movement is. You're pushing the ball across your right side to your left. It's like the name, push cross. The footwork is pretty simple. It could be either a one, two plant, then push cross, or you could hop, then push cross, whatever works for you. I typically do the one, two, but I have to hop in my back. The finish, it doesn't matter as long as you score or make a good play because you could either do a scoop lay, a jump shot. The finishing moves are endless. Or you could just make a pass to the open man because the help should collapse on you. Let's look at some examples. A great example of this would be Dwayne Wade. If you notice in this specific clip, Dwayne Wade has Tim Duncan guarding him, who's slower than Dwayne Wade. The way Dwayne Wade's setting up the move, he's looking to the right and leaning towards the right before he crosses it. So if you notice where LeBron's at, that's where Dwayne Wade's looking at. Then right when the defender relaxes or shifts to the right, that's when you change gears. The finish is up to you. Dwayne Wade just does the lay. Now let's take a look at one of my goats, Derrick Rose. In this specific clip, Derrick Rose splits the pick and roll. If you notice who the help defense is, it's Udonis Haslam. Udonis Haslam isn't the fastest, but Derrick Rose is probably one of the quickest guards in the league during this time. So what he does, he goes to the right, and if you notice Udonis Haslam is helping a lot more or hedging, Derrick Rose's body positioning and his eyes are leaning towards the right, which allows Udonis Haslam to react to him and slightly relax, which allows Derrick Rose to do the push cross and get him off balance, which allows him to split the defense. Derrick Rose's footwork is 1-2. Then the finish, I don't care, but for this instance, Derrick Rose literally just jammed on Joel Anthony.